we what needs to be done by the prosecution is they would actually have to prove that you are the person who sent the defamatory post or the defamatory tweet or the defamatory blog or whatever. And that means it has to actually come down to you. The author. Your, yes, to the author. There is a name there that refers to you. For example, if it's on Twitter, if someone, if, if a tweet comes out from your Twitter account, then the presumption is that you tweeted it. You published, you, you published it. Okay, that's number one. Okay. Number two, if say for example, uh, it came out from, it, we traced the source and it came out from your particular uh, device be it an iPad or a laptop or whatever. Mm -hmm. If it can be traced to your particular device, then the presumption is you are the one who actually sent or posted those things. Okay? Got it. Because under this law, you are responsible for anything you published even though somebody else could have hijacked your account. Mm -hmm. So under this law, if, if you didn't do it, say for example, somebody hacks into your email or your Facebook account, for example, right? Um, and uses your account to say something potentially defamatory or seditious, uh, you now have to prove that you didn't do it. Now, what's the problem with that? I mean, that's easier said than done for the ordinary person, the ordinary internet user, right? The, the not very savvy, technologically savvy user mm -hmm. is going to have to want to engage a lawyer, perhaps uh, maybe hire some kind of company that can help, that can trace uh, ISPs, for example.